Hi, this is Jonathan from Wild Cockatiel Games, Unity Game Programming for Beginners, and these are the 10 most useful Visual Studio keyboard shortcuts. Note that the shortcuts I will be presenting are for Windows. If you're using a Mac, the keyboard shortcuts should be transferable just by substituting Command for Control. If they are different and I am aware of that difference, I will point it out. Okay, let's get started. Tip number one, press Ctrl M O to fold all methods and Ctrl M P to unfold all of the methods. Let's take a look at this in action. Here we have a nice long script, roughly a thousand lines long. It's a lot to look through, but if we simply press Ctrl M O, it folds all the methods so it's a lot easier to navigate. And if we press Ctrl M P, it reopens them. Tip number two, press Ctrl M M to fold a selected area. Let's take a look. If I set my cursor here within this switch statement and press Ctrl M M, it folds this entire switch statement. I can press Ctrl M M again to unfold it. Now note if I go up here and select just after this method has been declared and press Ctrl M M, it will fold this entire method. And then if I press M M again, it will unfold that entire method. If I press Ctrl A and press Ctrl M M, it will fold everything in the entire script. Now, this is a lot, but we can simply use Control M O to unfold everything, or rather to refold all the methods. However, this does nothing to regions. If we want to fold regions, we have to go to that region and press Control M M again to fold that specific region. So you do have to play around with it sometimes to get the exact results you want, but it can be very useful just to quickly fold and unfold selected areas. Tip number three, press Ctrl plus C plus V to duplicate the current line. Of course, this is pretty similar to your standard copy paste command, but it omits an extra step and a couple of extra clicks, so it could be useful for a small amount of time savings. Tip number four, press Ctrl plus K plus F to format your current selection of code. What exactly does this mean? Well, if we highlight a selection such as this method and press Ctrl plus K plus F, it will fix the code to be formatted consistently with Visual Studio's method of formatting code. And in fact, if we press Ctrl A and do it again, it will fix all of the code in the entire document so everything is fully consistent. Tip number five. Press Ctrl plus K plus S to place selected code in a snippet. If we highlight some code and press Ctrl plus K plus S, it will give us a drop down list of commands that we can choose from. And if we select something like place this in a region, it will automatically place the selected code in a region. We can then type a name for this, press enter, and this code is now embedded within a region. We can press Ctrl M M to fold that code and again to unfold it. Be advised that if you do use this, if you only select a, s a portion of this code and press Ctrl plus K plus S and then try to put this in something, it will only put that selected code in there. So note, I did not select it all the way through here and it got cut off part way through. It does not recognize the start and the end of a line you have to select the entire line of code for this to work properly. Tip number six, press Alt plus Shift plus Enter to enter full screen mode. This may be useful if you want to simply avoid distractions and get rid of all the side panels. So just press Alt, Shift, Enter to do that and keep your mind focused specifically on your code. Tip number seven, Press Ctrl plus K plus C to comment selected code, or Ctrl plus K plus U to uncomment selected code. If we go here and select several lines of code and press Ctrl plus K plus C, it will comment those selected lines. We can just highlight them and note that I do not have to fully select the entire line. I can just press Ctrl plus K plus U to uncomment. If I only select a portion of text within a line and press Ctrl plus K plus C, 
it will only comment that selected portion of text. It can press Control plus K plus U to get rid of it. But if I don't highlight anything and I just leave the cursor on that line and press it again, it will comment that entire line. So it does have different functions depending on what text is selected. Tip number eight, press Control plus K plus K to bookmark code, Control plus K plus N to go between your bookmarks, and Control plus K plus W to open a bookmark window which will show all of your bookmarked code. This could perhaps be useful if you're working on several areas within a script or even multiple scripts and you need to quickly alternate back and forth between those two areas and you keep losing track. So I press Control KK and it adds this little flag here on the left. I can go up somewhere, select another method, press Control plus KK and it puts a bookmark. Now if I press Control plus K plus N and it will go back and forth between these two portions of bookmark code. Let's add one more somewhere in the middle here, press Control KK, and now press Control KW, and it opens a window here at the bottom that shows where all of my bookmarks are. If I want, I can unselect some bookmarks, and then just we can press Control plus K plus N to only go between the bookmarks that are selected, or I can select them all, and it press Control plus K plus N to go between them, or I can just double click a specific line and it tells me what script it's in, the line number, and so forth. Very useful for just jumping quickly between common portions of code. Tip number nine, Control plus left square bracket to find the matching bracket. Sometimes your coding brackets just like to go on an adventure. They get mixed up, you don't know where they've gone. But by pressing Control and left square bracket, it will jump between and highlight the matching brackets, no matter where they might happen to be, whether it's for the start of a method, for a, a loop, for an if statement, a region, or for the entire class. You can just press that bracket and jump between them so you can quickly find out what its matching bracket is. This can be also be very useful for debugging if you have accidentally deleted or added an extra bracket and you're having trouble finding out which one it is. And finally, tip number 10. Press F12 to go to the definition for selected code or press Shift plus F12 to view all the references for selected code. So for instance, if I'm looking here at this script and I see I have this variable called second ball and I want to see where I declared this variable, I can press F12 and it takes me up here to the top of the script where this variable was declared. Then if I want to see all the places where I use this variable, I can just have my mouse cursor selected on this text, press Shift F12 and it brings up a list where I can see I only used it in this one place. If we want to take a look at something else here, go to a different script, we can do it again and press Shift F12 and see that this variable was used in multiple places within this script. And if I want to just return back to where it was declared, I press F12 and I can go to this variable. We can also use this to follow methods. So for instance, if I want to follow this method name and see where the declaration for this is, I can press Shift F12. And if I just pressed, or I can press F12 rather, and if I press Shift F12, I can see all the places that this method is being called from and referenced from, which is quite a bit of places. That's all of the keyboard shortcuts for this video. Thanks very much for watching, and let me know if you have any questions in the comments. See you in the next one.